ladies and gentlemen, a comedy truly is for everybody, and you're seeing that tonight. Please welcome to the stage the very funny, all right, and I do mean that, the, the very, very funny, Lady Welton, Lady Welton, Lady Welton, here he is. I'm a Hasidic American and a rabbi, which means I'm very uncomfortable up here. <laughs> because this microphone is not circumcised. <laughs> I'd like to share my culture, so repeat after me. Baruch. Baruch. Hashem. Hashem. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> That's Jewish for thank God. Okay. But when I voice message people, my phone thinks that Baruch Hashem is I'll break your shins. <laughs> Which makes for some very awkward conversation. Especially this morning when I texted my boss. It made it really bad when I added the smiley emoji. Uh, Baruch Hashem, my wife is here tonight. But usually we can't sit together at public events. In the Hasidic community, all of our public events including our weddings, have separate seating for men and women. My friend thinks this is so annoying, but I told him, Moshe, this is probably why our divorce rates are so low, less than 1%, because we have built-in timeouts. I'm always telling my wife, babe, I love you. I never want to be apart from you. I want to sit right next to you, but God kind of said no. <laughs> I have so much hair on my face that when I took my three-year-old to the toy store, she came running back with a doll and said, Look, it's you! I got that on one knee and said, That's sweet, but we're not getting Chewbacca. <laughs> I was annoyed, but my wife thought it was hilarious. So for this Hanukkah, she sent out Disney greeting cards with a picture of her and I, and she signed them, Love, Beauty and the Beast. Oh. I told her, babe, that was so sweet of you calling me a beauty. <laughs> but that wasn't even that bad, because last Hanukkah, I was arrested in the airport for being a terrorist. Oh. Oh. I thought it was because of my beard, but the TSA agent was like, no, it's because of the song you're singing. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with the holiday classic? <coughs> bim bom, bim bom, bom. <laughs> really big bomb, sir. That's good. <laughs> 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 I'll sit next to you after the show. Um, just clap for a second. Sorry. Oh, thank you. That would you on my memory. Being Hasidic, I get a lot of questions. Like last Sunday in Brooklyn, some guy yells out, Hey, biker boy! I'm like, who, me? Yeah! What club do you ride with? I thought for a second and then yelled back, The Cedar Earth Dreidels! <laughs> He's like, all right, all right. Well, what's that thing on your head? I said, well, this is called a Yamaha. He goes, Yamaha? Why'd you name your hat after a motorcycle? I said, why? Well, because it sounds a lot better than telling people I'm wearing a Harley Davidson. <laughs> then on Monday, I'm in line at Bank of America, and some guy's like, excuse me, sir, uh, what are those strings hanging out of your pants? I said, well, this is called tzitzis, and it reminds me that no matter where I go, I'm always connected to God. And he goes, oh, that's nice, because I thought your underwear was unraveling. <laughs> Then this morning, I'm at the bus stop, and some guy's like, excuse me, are you a rabbi? I said, yes. He goes, can I convert to Judaism? I said, no. 
Because why not? I said, because it says in the Bible, thou shalt not convert under B45 to Long Beach. <laughs> As you already know, I can never trust my phone when I use Yiddish words. If any of you speak a foreign language, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I'm like, hello, this is Yanko Bero. Hello, this is Crate and Barrel. <laughs> no, sorry, it's my accent. Sorry, I was in an accident. <laughs> no, stop it, stop it. I'll make this very simple. Just text my grandmother, Happy birthday, Booby. I love you. Happy birthday, Robert. You rotten piece of rat scum. I hope you die. So I was like, I just give up. Just, uh, fine. But just add a smiley emoji. <laughs> then the next day, my phone keeps sending me these pop-up ads telling me to take classes for immigrants who need to learn how to speak English. So I go right back to Verizon, and I say, I want a new phone. And the guy's like, why? I say, because this one's an anti-Semite. <laughs> I gotta go, but I want to just say it was nice to meet you, and I'll break your shins. <laughs> Hasidic rabbi graduating from Stand Up University. And I'll tell you something, uh, we learn a, bit, a lot, we share a lot with our students when we're getting their acts together. Uh, and this is just so terrific. Uh, he is, he does, he's a, he's a biker. He's a, he rides a motorcycle, which is really cool. And this is also extra cool. He is a chaplain in the United States Air Force. You know, wow.